Don't look at the back door. The back door is, uh, the back door is fine. The back door is absolutely A-OK. -okay. I said the back door was absolutely A-OK -okay and not to worry about it. All right, where's our right-hand turn we're going to be making? Not this paved one, but the dirt one right up here. I'm also really hoping that I have enough oomph to get the whole setup up this hill, because this hill is not very forgiving. It's actually one of the least forgiving hills uh, on this entire map for some odd reason, and I'm really not sure. Oh, it's been... Wait a minute. Has that been smoothed out? It feels like it has, because I remember that hill being way gnarlier the last time I came out here. Like, way freaking gnarlier. All right, back into automatic mode, because that was way, way easier than I remember it being in the past. I remember that hill being so incredibly steep that it was like... I mean, it was a gnarly level of challenge to make it up there. All right, so am I... Am I on the right camera angle? Yep, I am. I was, like, freaking out internally, because I was like, am I even remotely on the right camera angle? It just... Something about it felt weird. Do you ever have those moments when you're driving along where you're like, am I looking at this from the right angle? Is there something weird going on here? Or is it just me being a bit of a doofus? And, you know, honestly, that's not, uh, that's not all that far from, uh, what it ends up being sometimes. And you know what? That's fine. This trailer has been holding up, like, really, really well, though. It's super balanced. It doesn't get hung up on things. Even when the terrain gets a little uneven, you know, it, it's so, it's honestly, like, so lifted, and the tires are so big that it just doesn't really care. All right, I'm taking the correct right-hand turn, I believe. I'm going a little bit along the edge, though, because I don't necessarily want to, uh, get stuck in the mud, but I might need to, oh, I forgot the diff lock was always on on this thing, and all-wheel drive is always on. Never mind, this thing is like, wow, easy mode, okay. Yeah, easy mode status for sure. Oh, I spoke too soon on the whole high centering thing. Uh, yeah. Yike. Yike. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. The winch will save us. We're good. Yep, we're, yep, we're fine. We're fine. Winch gets us on out of there. A little bit of wheel lift coming out of the mud. What are you stuck on now? Oh, the back of the trailer. I didn't think about that. The back of the trailer is always a weird point of contention when you're hauling things like this. And I'm just gonna do that and hope for the best. And also hope that I don't explode the physics. And I think we're fine. Yep, we're good. Not even gonna worry about it. Off we freaking go. Now, as we make our way down into these upcoming roads, yes, the terrain will get a little uneven, but at some point... We should be able to just kind of open her up a little bit and just cruise. And as long as we can find a spot where we can open it up and cruise, we'll be a-okay. I mean, we'll be fine. Do I have enough torque to keep it in high for this and just rampage it up the hill? Uh, I have enough torque. I just don't know if I have enough wheels on the ground. Because having enough wheels on the ground is kind of something that you have to think about from time to time. You know, especially with, like, a vehicle like this where having your wheels on the ground is, uh... You know, it directly coincides with the amount of grip you have. It's not like it's a hovercraft, nor does it have, you know, rocket boosters driving it from behind. However, the BeamNG bus does have rocket boosters driving it from behind. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if they put the BeamNG rocket bus in SnowRunner, I mean, that would unlock a whole new world of possibilities. SnowRunner just doesn't really have flying physics, and... The flying physics in SnowRunner are more just, like, explosion physics. And that's not like a dig at SnowRunner or anything like that. It's just, like, it wasn't, there wasn't really any reason to engineer flying physics or flight physics into SnowRunner. And some modders have messed around with trying to get it to work. But it kind of, once again, resulted in uh, physics going boom. And when physics go boom, everything goes boom. Unless you actually delete the physical object and then go on from there. But, you know, it's one of those things. It's fine. But really, aside from high-centering the trailer and then getting the back lip of the trailer completely stuck at one point, uh, this adventure has been A-OK, -okay, just fine. God, this area is so pretty. And going through it with, like, a giant toy hauler like this, oh, man, top-notch stuff. Not going down that wreck trail, though, because that, that, uh, that wreck trail would, uh, well, wreck as in recreational would turn our truck into a bit of a wreck as in crash so uh we're not gonna we're not gonna make our way down there right now but you know it's probably for the best we we do have a campsite to get to trying to get there before dark 
Because as long as I can get there before dark, I mean, we can get, you know, we can get all settled in, and then we can wake up the next day and go trail riding in the ATVs, go trail riding in the, um, the Tahoe. And, I mean, really, if we wanted to, we could also go trail riding in the Dodge. We would just have to adjust the coilovers a little bit. Fortunately, you know, with having an adjustable suspension like this, you know, as long as you got a couple of tools, you can get underneath it and, you know, soften the, uh, like, soften the damping up a little bit. You can even, like, adjust the ride height a little bit and put the truck into a much more trail-friendly state, if you will. Still gonna be a little bit wide, a little bit thick for some of these trails, but that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. I'm throwing it in high for this. We are coming up on the river, though. And this river shouldn't be too bad because there is kind of like a log bridge. Although the log bridge does get submerged under the water at one point. I say at one point. I mean, in the middle of the river. Like, it, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. That's just what happens. But, ooh, picking up some pace. Trailer brakes. Thank you. At a certain speed, going down hills with a fully loaded toy hauler gets a little sketchy. I am sure glad I have trailer brakes. Let's see, how's my gigantic uh, navigation screen looking? Ah, I love this thing. It is properly luxurious on the inside. I mean, obviously the digital speedometer doesn't work, but like, I don't really think anybody's gotten a digital speedometer that like shows numbers to work in SnowRunner. I mean, John John Hot Rod has one where it's like, a digital gauge, but it doesn't show, like, digital numbers, because digital numbers require a whole different set of, like, programming, essentially, to actually make them work the way you want them to work. Got the lights on. It's starting to rain on us right now. Whoa! Trailer is at an angle. Holy smokes. All right, bringing you around. Nothing unpacked, though. I didn't hear any of the vehicles unpacked, so I think we're A-OK. -okay. Still got all the wheel chocks right where we need them. Here's the river. Oh, bro, I bet this would be an absolutely incredible picture. We just got to make sure not to get any of any of the truck's tires off the surface. Come on. Oh, bro. Bro. All right. That right there. Holy smokes. I know I've been taking so many freaking photos, but like I cannot stop taking photos. Oh, dude, it's just like... The adventure vibe, just like, it does not get any better or any more real than being out in the wilderness with, like, a fully loaded down toy hauler with, like, some ATVs and a freaking trail rig in it. Can you... Oh, wow, it's got the torque to go into high range going up that hill. No freaking way. Whoa. Okay, that's, that's proper next level. That is absolutely properly next level right there. Jeez. God, that is insane. That is properly insane. We should have a sign for the campground coming up soon. I'm just not entirely sure where. I'm sure if I check the GPS, it'll give me a little bit of a heads up. But it's been a little bit of a while since I've been out this way in the standpoint of looking for a uh, campground. Because the last time I came out here, I was looking for a fishing spot. Oh, speaking of... Camping! Exactly what we need! Well, it's good! All right, we're going to take out one of these camping signs, and it might as well be this one. And as a matter of fact, are we going to take that one out as well? No? Wow! I am... I am amazed that we didn't take that one out. Holy crap! That's nuts, the fact that we didn't take that sign out. Oh, dude, if you could, like, focus on the camping sign and actually do, like, a proper angle of the photo right there, that'd be such a sick picture. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Eh... All right, this approach is going to be sketchy. I don't think this approach was made for giant toy haulers. Ooh. Already into a gnarly hairpin right off the bat. Trying not to high center the trailer. This is going to be a time and a half getting up to this campsite. Sure glad there are a bunch of winch points out here because I am going to need them. I'm just literally laying on the power. Full power, full power, full power, and full winch pull. There you go, not bad. Man, this is when an Earth Roamer would come in handy. They got them down at the dealership. I just... I ain't picked one up yet. All right. Ease. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's... That's gonna be... That's gonna be a nasty spot. That is gonna be a nasty spot. Hmm. Let me see if I can rotate the trailer enough. Can I? Just barely. Yeah, just barely. 
We about there. Come on. Oh my god. Dude, I am. Oh, dude. I am not feeling that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there you go. There you go. I have my steps caught. My my freaking trailer steps at that. This was not made for trailers. This was not made for trailers, especially not giant fifth wheels. Bit of a dummy for coming down here, but that's okay. It shouldn't be that long before we get to the campsite. Low plus is also not that slow in this truck, so I don't mind staying in low plus for the remainder of this drive. But I also think that that's the majority of the big obstacles. So if we wanted to go back in automatic, we probably could. I just don't want to risk it until we're actually up where we need to be. Come on. There you go. Come on, come on. Oh. Ooh. Made that giant tree shake a bit. That's a little unnerving. That's, like, genuinely unnerving. Like, what the heck? Please tell me that there's a campsite around the bend. Because I need it. There's something over there. That just looks like a big rock shelf. Man, I want to check the GPS so bad, but, like, my mind keeps telling me, like, no, dude, you're almost there. You're almost there. You don't need to check the GPS as long as you just stay on this road. You're fine. Because I don't think this road actually... There it is! There's the campsite. Dude! Oh, man. We even got our rental cabin and everything. Oh, that's so awesome. We got a wreck trail right there. Got all our freaking cabins right here. Oh, dude, this is so good. This is so freaking good. Oh, my God. Now, granted, I mean, I don't think there's a lot of people camping today, so the head of the campground said, essentially, pick whichever one you want, and I'll give you the keys to it. So, let's see which one we want. Do we want the tent? Or one of the tents? Or do we want a cabin? I want a cabin. Right, let's see. This one will probably fit the hauler right next to it. Well, maybe in between it. That's probably the only one that's going to fit the haul and rig right next to it. So I tell you what. Well, there might be one more, but I don't know if I want to chance it. So let's go back, 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 back. Come on. Ooh, come on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not what we're trying to do. This campground owner was so nice to us. I am not going to repay them by backing my trailer into one of their uh, cabins. That's that's not my uh, that's not my plan. <laughs> oh, dude. But either way, here we are. Made it to the cabin. Oh, man. This is so legit. This is so freaking cool. The fact that like not only I'm going to I'm going to adjust that focus because oh this looks this looks so good. Like I love the fact that we are able to like legitimately this game gives you the opportunity to not only go camping but RP out the whole thing down to like pulling up to your cabin. That's so next level and so incredibly unheard of. Now, in the next episode, we're going to be unloading some vehicles and uh, seeing what we can do with them, seeing what's around the campsite, seeing what's around the cabins. But uh, the sun's going down. I think we're going to go get some sleep. And if y'all enjoyed, let me know down in the comments what you thought. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.